So this concept is called the probability QE. And then, uh, then actually you can even ask the question, you can ask the eigenvector, you take a projection onto a fixed vector. And then you can ask it, what's its probability distributions. And its probability distributions, uh, you can guess what it is because if you, you just think about it, you choose a random vector from the, uh, from the sphere. And if you choose a random vector from the sphere, then you will see that this was, will converge to a normal distribution. And, and then, so, so we will call it, you can, you can think about this as universality eigenvectors if you want to use these names. And uh, it's not just one eigenvector, you can also ask you know, quite a few of them. So, so this was the for eigenvector. And now the theorem is, uh, is, is in, in a way, is a parallel to the, uh, to the eigenvalues uh, problem we, we talked about in the beginning. It's, uh, uh, if you look at the, the steel transform, it's still in between of two numbers. But here we also assume that uh, if you take a green function and then you project to the, the direction you are interested, it also has to be bounded, in, in, uh, uh, bounded above and bounded below. And under these two assumptions, uh, uh, under these two assumptions, then, oh, sorry, sorry, forget about this M naught. Sorry, take out. I forgot to, I mean, this was uh, some, some, some typos. And again, you assume this in certain interval. And then, then once again, uh, once again, you, you wait for some time, and it has star bigger than, uh, eta star bigger than this T. You, you wait for some time bigger than your, your eta star. And then for the eigenvectors inside these regions, uh, inside, the, inside this, with the energy, inside your interval of assumptions, then everything, the, then both this uh, probability QUE and also this, uh, this eigenvector universality holds in the bulk. So, so this is a, a, a still in parallel to the, to the eigenvalues uh, um, province. The previous eigenvalue province says, uh, if you wait for some time, it will reach, uh, it will reach the, this local equilibrium, like, uh, uh, like these GOE ensembles. And what, what we say here is if you wait for some time, then it will reach the, the orthog basically reach the, um, almost like orthogonal groups, the same thing. Oh, sorry. So, so uh, it means that the eigenvector, if you, if you, if you, if you measure its, uh, um, its convergence to equilibrium by, by these two properties, one is uh, this, uh, uh, this probability QE, and the other one is uh, by the probability distribution of, a, of a, a projection into a fixed eigenvector, a fixed vector, sorry, projection into a fixed vector, then you will reach the equilibrium. I mean, of course you can ask, because now these, you have many vectors in very high dimension, you can project not just into one direction, you can ask many, many questions, a lot more complicated. So here we didn't really say everything is really, I mean, equilibrium, but, uh, but I think this was, uh, uh, anyway, you can, you can say quite a lot about this. Uh, I mean, if you project into a finite direction, it's also okay. All right, so, uh, so, so some of these results were previously proved under, under four moments assumptions and by, uh, by Terry and uh, Wu and uh, NT and uh, Im. All right, so, um, so, uh, so what's, the, what's the idea of, uh, um, um, so here, here let me try to explain something I, which I, um, so why, why do we study, why do we start to study this eigenvector flow? So this was the, so if you, um, let me see how much time I have, okay. So if you look at eigen, if you look at green functions, so a green function has eigenvector here and also has eigenvalue here. And now, um, now we are, we understand we understood this uh, eta for bigger than n to the minus one. This is bigger than the inter eigenvalue space very well. So this part was uh, the so-called local law. And now we want to understand this for eta less than n, n minus one. Now, if you want to understand this for eta less than n minus one, then you start to, then you immediately face the question that uh, this is essential, this is as hard as understand this lambda i probability distribution because uh, if you look at these green functions, and uh, the lambda, the, the eigenvalue has a structure below the scale one over n. So, 
So it's almost impossible to understand this because this eigenvalue has fluctuation. And also this eigenvector has fluctuations. Because on the other hand, if you want to talk about a single eigenvector, then you have to look at this, uh, this eta really below one over, one over n. Otherwise, you don't see it. Otherwise, you just see the average. So, so at some point, we ask the question that, oh, all right, so, so now because uh, understand the eigenvalue is below one over n is, uh, is too, I mean, this was done in a very complicated way. There's just no way to understand this object. So maybe I, we just took out this piece. Okay. So we decided to took out, then we took out this piece that becomes eigenvector. And it just, it's just eigenvector again. And, uh, but then, then you think about the eigenvector, uh, the invariant measure is, uh, is orthogonal group. And, uh, and the eigenvector distributions, uh, it's actually just a chi-square. And then you feel that the chi-square may be something easier to understand than this, uh, than this Wigner Dyson law. And so, so that's, that's the motivation we start to write down the, uh, the eigenvector equations. And then, all right. So, uh, so what, we, what we show really is uh, because this part, this is average, what we show is, uh, is really that uh, uh, whatever you, you can say about this imagined part of GAA, roughly speaking, is also correct. If you take this G, it's just one point in standard summation. Okay, so, so what's the idea? How do we study these uh, this eigenvector equations? So if you come back, so now let me remind you. Uh, oh, sorry. It took a long time to come back. Um, so if we look at this eigenvector. Now, this is horrible mass. And especially this is, this is lambda k minus lambda l squared. So if you look at this term, then you almost just want to give up. And, uh, and then, uh, so it's, it's by some coincidence that uh, we felt that this was possible to, to study. And uh, so what we do is the following. So we take this moment, then we just take its expectation. Then we find the expectation of the, of the eigenvector moment. Satisfied equation is a random walk in random environment. It's lambda j minus lambda k squared, but this is, uh, this is random jump given by one over lambda j minus lambda k squared. So, uh, so you take a moment, is, this equation is still pretty bad because, uh, because this, uh, uh, the, the, this singularity of lambda j minus lambda k it can, be, it can be terribly bad. But, but fortunately, we had, we had uh, spent quite some time on this dynamics in, uh, in, the, in the eigenvalue province. So we find that actually you, can, you can actually study this question. And then you can study how fast this, the solution converges to, uh, to an equilibrium solution, which is one. So, so you, you study this random work in random environment questions, and then you, you study how fast it reaches equilibrium. And uh, this is by, the method is by some finite speed propagation maximal principle. And also we use some local semicircle laws. And actually this was possible to study this object, despite there is a singularity here. Um, now, uh, of course, the, just study the, the moment is not enough. You have to take a, you have to take a product of uh, many different J or, or higher moments and so on. So this all can be done. And uh, this is how we identify the object. So there was the... So here, here you find the, the dynamics is, is, uh, is understood in, well, in, in the case of eigenvectors. All right. So, um, so here now, um, let me, I think I still have a little bit of time, so I try to explain two things. One is, uh, um, one is in, in many of these, in many of these uh, uh, problems, uh, we are studying the convergence of eigenvalues and how do we do it. So this, this part is really the method. How do we do the, really prove these uh, fixed energy universalities? How do we do that? So the idea is the following. The idea is, uh, you look at the, the eigenvalue equation of lambda i, which is Dyson Brownian motion. So let me remind you this lambda i is, uh, is dBm again. So, so you take this lambda i, it's, uh, it's your dBm flow. And then you take another copy. You take, you take a mu i, which is another dBm flow. So you take this, the same thing, and then you take a, exactly, you do the same thing with d mu i. 
uh, of course, this would be mu i minus mu j. So only thing is uh, different is uh, the in the second one, we, we we take the second one with initial data, with initial data from the GOE, and the first one is whatever you want to study. Then we look at the difference. We look at the difference with the same driving Dyson, with the same driving Brownian motions. So use this with uh, the same, these are the same, the same driving. So the same driving then you cancel out, and then you find the, the difference of this ui is, uh, is given by this equation, this bij is, is this object. So now if you look at this one, the eigenvector, uh, it's actually quite fairly, I mean, quite close to each other. And so, oh, sorry. So then, so this coupling idea actually, so then you study, try to study this equation with this random coefficient. And now, um, then to study this equation random coefficient, I, the, 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 the key of the reasons that we are able to say quite a few of all this is because of this idea of homogenization. And both this couple of homogenization were came from uh, this, this paper we did the fixed energy universality. And homogenization says that even though this guy is, 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 is fairly random, on the other hand, the kernel of this evolution at time t, once the t has a, is the, is once t is a large enough, I mean the, the large here is still quite small, right? but large is related to one over n. Once the time is large enough, then you can really compute these kernels without any problems. This is something a bit strange, but uh, typically homogenizations, uh, uh, you need some sort of average. I mean, the homogenization of PDE, you always try to say the convergence in certain norm, you need some average. But here, here we are able to, to do the homogenization at, at the fixed, uh, uh, at the, in error infinity norm, let's put it in this way. And so that's why, uh, that's why we can do the fixed energy universal. And this concept was used in many places in, the, in all this work of, uh, uh, we did this uh, local result. It's all based on, it's all based on uh, lots of these ideas coupling homogenization. Uh, also depending on how we cut off these dynamics in various ways. And now, um, and finally, let me explain in the, at the edge why the speed is, uh, is, a, square root, is a square root of, uh, of eta star. So this is some explanation. I think I, yes, I still. So, so if you look at this coupling object Bij, and suppose you, you cut out the, the index, uh, index from uh, bigger than n times eta star. And the reason I use n times eta star because the index j is, is, is integer and the eta star is, is always everything rescaled by one over n. So if you cut off the, cut off the outside, outside dynamics and you just look at whatever, whatever happened. So then, then you find your dynamics has the, has the inside part like a diffusion and the outside piece you can look at the, the effect of external, external inference on this, on this point, on this, uh, this, this UI from here. And you compute this object Bij, and you, you plug in the typical value of these eigenvalues. You plug in this typical value, and you use the, the eigenvalue distribution is a, is a square root of x. Then what it comes out is eta star minus 1 half. And this eta star minus 1 half is actually inverse of time to local equilibrium. So that's the, this is the idea of uh, how, you, how you decide, uh, um, uh, how you decide this, uh, uh, what's the speed of the, at the edge. Okay. All right, so uh, now I want to say a few other related results. And uh, I, I, I try to say uh, two results. And one is, uh, what is many things we, we are dealing here are the eigenvalues, but actually, uh, you can also play with the sing for singular value. You can also play with the same game. The singular value equations uh, is not a Dyson Brownian motion, but it's almost uh, it's a SI minus SJ. But they, you can also there's also oh, yes SK minus SJ, but then there's also this SK plus SJ. So it's so this looks very similar, but actually if you symmetrize it, if you just artificially make another copy refraction. And this really just change of the index. And then, uh, then you find that it's almost like a Dyson Brown emotion. Uh, it's almost like a Dyson Brown, except that, uh, except that 
each object, you don't interact with your, your, your mirror image. So, so here you look at some ancient. Uh, this J will not, you, of course, there's the index, there's no index zero. And also this index J, uh, you cannot interact with uh, plus minus K. So because you don't interact with, with your mirror image. And then there are many, many of the results we talk about for the eigenvalues, actually also, I mean, these dynamics and, uh, and the dyson brown motion are fairly close to each other. So, so many results, one can change them into a singular values as well. All right, so, uh, so this is one, one other example of uh, dynamics. And uh, there's another one uh, which, uh, which I, will, I will talk about this result as, uh, to close this lecture. Um, so this, uh, this free convolution problems, you take the, the edges uh, V star times Xn plus V plus Yn. And now we want to understand the eigenvalues of this. Of this uh, and this V is given by the hard measure, hard distribute. So this was, uh, so, so Kevin just, just talked about the local law of this province uh, last week. All right, so, so they will converge to, uh, to the free convolution of this uh, X and Y. And, uh, and then the theorem of, uh, 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 I, I don't think anyone, except you are Chinese, you cannot pronounce this last name. It's actually Tse, um, it means the car. Uh, and this is Benjamin Linden. And so they prove the following result. So they, they, want, they prove that actually the bulk universality eigenvalue distribution hold for this model. So I was, uh, I was very happy that uh, this, this is possible to, to do because, uh, because all the previous results, uh, it always based on the, they say some sort of, uh, um, some sort of brown, this, uh, some sort of uh, magic brown emotion. But here it's, uh, it's on a hard measure, you still can do it. And the idea is again, it's, uh, the idea is uh, you look at evolution, uh, on, uh, it's again the dynamical idea. So you consider the time evolution of this province. But now instead of this y, now you start to rotate this by u. Now this u is, is given by this, uh, this SDE on the, uh, the SDE is, uh, you can compute the du, this dw, this is, this is Brownian motion times u, and minus one half a times u. And the a is chosen, I mean, if you, okay, if you don't have a stochastic, if this is not Brownian motion, then you don't need this term, and then this is already uh, evolution on the, uh, on the, on the, oh, sorry, it's not un, it's on the on. And now, um, now because uh, this one is a Brownian motion, so you need some correction term, and then you can check that this is still, still keep the, still flow on the orthogonal group. And now, you also know that because this flow, uh, because this, uh, you can move this u to uh, move this u star, you can, you can conjugate again, it becomes u star, u times v star. And once it's u times v star, then it becomes a rotation on the, um, on, on the orthogonal group. And then you know the orthogonal group is invariant under group action. So the eigenvalue of this H of t is actually stay, is stay the same for all time t. So now, we are, so now you, you introduce the dynamics, and then you find the dynamics is just invariant. The, the whole eigenvalue didn't change. And you may say, say that, oh, this is totally stupid. The whole thing didn't change. And, uh, but then, uh, but, but then you, you look at the equation of eigenvalue under these dynamics. And, uh, and then it's almost like a dyson Brownian motion. It's almost like a dyson Brownian motion. Okay? Now, uh, oh, sorry. So, uh, so you're almost like a dyson Brownian, but here, here there are various choices because the, the covariance, the quadratic variation, has a choice of sigma square, and also this A has, has various choices. So you, can, you, you have a lot of freedom to choose uh, your dynamics. And then uh, there's, uh, there's some, some choice. There's uh, actually this, uh, um, I think that this is what's good for a graduate student. You look at the, you look at the problems for half a year and keep on trying uh, with all kinds of choices that you find out there's a good choice. And, <laughs> So they find there's a good choice that uh, the eigenvalue is, uh, is almost like a one, but minus a quantity, which is small. 
and then uh, the standard Marnigel term, uh, there's a Marnigel term, and then also there's, uh, there's some correction term in the, in the DT. Oh, sorry, I forgot the DT here. Okay, so, so then you find that this gamma ij is also small. But all this, uh, here if they use the, the result of, of Bao and, uh, and the early situationality, they prove that the eigenvectors are completely delocalized. So, it's, uh, so you use this, then you find that this, this is the dynamics. And the, the dynamic is so close to Dyson Browning motion. Then you take a Dyson Browning motion and then you couple them together. And once you couple them together, then you show that, that this couple dynamics converge to equilibrium very fast. Once again, you use the same similar ideas. And then you show that uh, the eigenvalue of this mu i and lambda i close to each other. But on the other hand, this mu i reached uh, reach the, the, uh, reach this uh, uh, weakened Dyson statistic. So this way you prove that uh, the mu i. Uh, this way you prove this, uh, the lambda i will also be universal. So, uh, so this is uh, an, another idea, a uh, way of using the dynamics. So this is uh, the end of my talk. And uh, um, so let me just summarize, let's say, a few words. So, so I was uh, just trying to, to show you that uh, uh, it, it, one, one study this uh, random metric problem, and, and, and random metric itself has no time. But, uh, but because we all train uh, from, from day one, so everything has to have a time. So it's just, uh, it just uh, artificially put the time in. in it's try every possible way to put time into your province. And then that's the, uh, that's the end of my talk. Thank you. Thank you.